So welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Fallon. This might be a couple part series. I'm going to talk a little bit about my background and like where I've seen homelessness and then I'm going to also talk about uh, specific to the Tri-Cities, specific to where I live and my experiences from yesterday from traveling my city. I'm working on a project called Travel Your City. It will eventually be expressed through art somehow. And I do a lot of research for my art. So this is the research process. You guys get to come along with me. I This video today is gonna be kind of rambling, talking about homelessness and poverty in my city currently. I uh, I just, I want to learn more. I want to be able to better interact with people and uh, learn more about my city, learn more about the world and ways to make a positive impact. And I'm gonna kind of go through this quick today because I'm leaving town, I'm flying out tomorrow, but I need to get this done because I just had some stuff I wanted to get off my chest uh, that happened yesterday and I saw yesterday. I just wanted to bring up the concept of homelessness and what's going on in my city as I travel my city. Because I think it's a important topic that should not be ignored and I'm not quite sure how to address it yet. So this vlog is going to be me processing through that hopefully and over the next few weeks I will hopefully come up with some good ways to share what's going on in the Tri-Cities, in my community. Yesterday my friend uh, Morgan took me out and we've done some stuff with the teen homeless shelter in the past and uh, with the outreach team where we would go out, we'd give out, we'd go out um, as people are going to bed and people are waking up so they're in the places to sleep the night. We'd go out, you're not really supposed to be in those places. We talked to the police, so the police knew where we were going, we were through this organization, we had these kits that we were giving to people um, specifically under the ages of 18 and here's a hygiene kit, uh, there's some information about the resources. If you need help, come. you can come to my friend's place. This is what's going on. A lot of people didn't know about the teen homeless shelter and also it takes a lot of times to uh, if someone's been living on the street for a year, they've gotten used to it. It, ser it. it works, and there's a fear of change, and it's not necessarily better change because every change a lot of homeless people have gone through are hard, and they're not all good, and most of them haven't been good. So building that trust in that, I'm like, even though it's a shelter, it, it's a shelter to everybody else that hasn't been living on the street. A shelter sounds amazing, like, oh my gosh, you guys get to have a home, but... From what I've heard, it's not like that when you're living on the streets. It's a different situation. It's harder than that. It's not that psychologically easy to just be like, oh, now I have a shelter. Now I have a home. Ah! And there's all sorts of weird, weird laws and stuff. So we, we did that in the past. And she, it was really neat. Like the trainings for those, there was a group of three of us that were kind of spearheading it. And then like all the woman who worked there and was in charge. We did these trainings where like we learned like how do you approach if you find a dwelling that is occupied and like is a person's home, how do you, do you go into it even though it's in the woods and there's no door? Or do you say, hi, my name's this, it's standing outside, like addressing yourself, introducing yourself, and then if they invite you in, you go in, things like that. So this friend Morgan, she still goes out and one of the biggest things when she was homeless that she needed was just a friend. Someone who she could talk to, someone who understood. And so she's been going out for several months and finding these, there are these hidden communities in the Tri-Cities of homeless people. And so she's been going to this main one that she's found and just talking to people, starting to build relationships, conversations. And um, so this last time she went, she took me with, and that's I think part of when I travel, I do not just go to like the pretty tourist beach areas. I, I, people tell me like, oh, don't go to this area. And I'm like, how, how exactly do you get there? And I make sure that I go to that area. Um, and some of my best adventures while traveling have been when I've gone to the places people tell me not to go because that's real life. That's not like, here, when you come to my city, my country, I'm going to put a little bow on it and package it and um, hide all of the trash inside so that you don't get to see it. You can think that we live in a perfect little world when we don't. There is evil and sadness and um, there's there's sad things all around and it we can't just ignore those and pretend that our city is without those. I love Tri-Cities. I love every place I've lived. Uh, uh, but there are negatives every single place. Every single country has poverty. Every single country has, has social problems. And it's important for people living in those areas to not just pretend it doesn't exist. So thanks guys. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Uh, so thank you. I make videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. My schedule's kind of wonky right now. I'm doing some Saturdays. I'm um, doing the Travel Your City stuff, so, but my goal is one video a week, one art video a week, and uh, we'll see what else. So subscribe for more somewhat randomness when we Travel Your City, art videos, talk videos about the art world, and uh, some creative, just fun, experimental videos for myself. So that's what's going on on my channel. I'm Felicia Vaughn, and I hope to see you guys around. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe.